April here on Tarot and Witchery with another installment of my ideas for oracles. These are ideas for using your oracle decks and particularly in conjunction with your tarot decks, but you can use these for magical purpose or whatever. Um, I just thought it's fun to do some ideas for oracles specifically. So the decks that I mentioned will be listed in the description box down below. If they're not there, then just go ahead and listen to the video. I will tell you the name of the deck, I promise. <laughs> okay, so this is the intention card and I love this idea. I love using the idea of an intention card. So the way this works, this is the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle by Priestess Moon. You all heard it here. And you don't use the book. You just simply go through the deck and you can see here this one. I mean, I like this one. I like this deck for this. Um, it's got like Hedro, let it go, feel at peace, take some time for yourself. So here I am, I'm having something that I'm going through and what I need to do is I need to find something that sets the intention for the reading or maybe it sets the intention for a magical work, right? So I go through, I think... This one, like maybe I'm feeling really stuck. Okay, so I'm gonna choose Shroom. Think outside the box. Now, I would encourage you, you can do an intention card in a couple different ways. You could do it as far as wanting, I'm trying to grab another deck, sorry. As far as you get the words on there that really stick out for you, or here's the Folktales Oracle. You can choose a card because you need to step into a different place, so like temple, transformation. like So you can choose it based on the picture alone. You can be like, okay, I really need to work my way into this space, this feeling. So thinking about the card and the feeling that it creates for you, you could look through and find something like, maybe I don't think this is hope. Maybe this is idea to me, but I can just ignore that. Whatever it is, you can, like I said, you can choose it based on the picture. You can choose it based on the feeling. You can choose it based on the keywords on there. But the purpose is to pick something as the intention for the reading. So instead of just having your question be the intention, you're like, this is what I need right now. I need this. And so here it's like, I need to think outside the box. And so then I go ahead and I just reach around here and I grab a tarot or maybe you do Oracle, you know, maybe you're an all Oracle card reader, that's fine. And I just look at that, I'm thinking outside the box. What's gonna help me think outside the box? I need something that helps me think outside the box. And so then I draw a card on that. Ooh, and I got it reversed, but we'll just put it upright. Oh, such a perfect thing for Think Outside the Box, you guys. So I got the Five of Pentacles here. And one of the things about the Five of Pentacles is always this idea, especially in the original Rider-Waite-Smith, they're going, they're like at the church, but they're not going in. And you think, why aren't they going in and getting the help they need? Sometimes we need to either look at the obvious, it's, it's right there, or sometimes we need to pass up the way we've always done it and do something differently. And a lot of times that's what this card means to me. You know, so maybe then I have a different question that comes up, you know, how does passing up the old way of doing it help me think outside the box? How? How and what are really great ways to start questions? So how does passing up the old way of doing it help me to think outside the box? And I get the world. And so to me, I think about the world, I think about embodiment, I think about, you know, I need to embody more, I need to really embody everything that I know of and the lessons that have come my way. And so maybe I'm not doing that, maybe I've really hemmed myself in. Hey there, my have you ever thought that you might want to study the tarot with me? If so, then you may want to sign up for my newsletter down below. It is infrequent, but I do give course updates when I drop them. And I also give out free spreads when I send out my newsletter. So if this sparks your interest, go ahead and click the link below in the description box in a different way. So that's the intention card method. It's really simple. And you know, if you're doing like magic, you know, you can, 
This is the uh, moon deck. And eventually I'm gonna do a walkthrough of this deck. This is the moon deck. And you know, this is this one's great for for magical intentions because it's already kind of got a spell on it, right? My, play is my pathway to joy. Love and intimacy flow into my life effortlessly. So these are like little spells already because they're affirmations. And so maybe what I do is I go through and I pick out, um, I shed habits that hinder my truth and release and renew. That's my intention for my spell. And now I can even look at the card and think of things that I want to use that are in the card, or maybe just I meditate on the feeling of this for my spell or my intention. Could be a new moon intention, could be, uh, this would probably be better for a full moon, right? Because we're shedding habits. Maybe I then create an altar around this with little articles or objects or pictures or whatever. Because I'm setting this attention and I've created a focal point, I can now direct my energies into that intention by seeing it on a daily basis. Could be just as simple as using this intention card next to your bed, looking at it before you go to sleep and when you wake up. You know, there's lots of different magical practices out there that are really simple. But honestly, I mean, you can do this with tarot, but I love intention cards for, um, I love uh, oracles for intention cards. I just feel like they lend themselves to that just so well. If you made it this far in the video, do me a favor and uh, leave me a comment down below on whether or not you've done intentions or just a couple stars. Let me know that you made it this far. Uh, let me know if you like this series, what you think of it, if you've been watching it, and if you just found this, then go ahead and look at some of the other ones that are in the Ideas for Oracle series that I've been doing this year for 2023. Super fun, and until we meet again, May you find the card that sets the intention that stirs you to new heights and new manifestations.